Hello everyone, I am Vivek Gupta, a PhD candidate working in Silicon Synapse Lab led by Alireza Ramizani at Northeastern University. I am going to present my accepted paper called Banking Turn of High Degree of Freedom Dynamic Morphing Wing Flight by Shifting Structure Response Using Optimization. Slide is for acknowledging all the authors who were involved in this project. So me, myself, Vivek Gupta, a uh, PhD student, um, Yogi Sa, who is, uh, who is a master student, Dauran Liu, who is a master student at Northeastern University, Dr. Eric Sihite, he is a postdoc uh, at Caltech, and Dr. Alireza Ramezani, associate professor uh, at Northeastern University. So moving on to motivation and goals for this paper, I want to first introduce our tailless flapping wing robot, which is called Northeastern Aerobat. This robot is interestingly designed such that it is capable of doing dynamic morphing wing flight. That is, it can expand and collapse its wing dynamically, and also it can produce a lift force of 40 gram force. The goal for this aerobat is to fly inside confined spaces like tunnels and perform different maneuvers as shown in the picture on the right. So as I said, this robot has just one motor uh, that only controls the symmetric fashion flapping and it lacks any other mechanism for orientation control. So to perform any maneuvers, the aerobat requires some sort of orientation control to follow some trajectory or for example, to make banking turns um, as shown in the picture on the right. Here, with this cartoon picture on the right, I want to show the concept that we are using to perform orientation control on this robot. So as you see in this picture, the banking starts when the aerobat is rolled sideways, um, which generates a side force, uh, which helps to yaw the robot and get the desired banking turn. The idea to roll the aerobat body can be achieved by creating asymmetric gates, as such as shown here. Uh, between the bo both wings and for that we had to make some changes in the mechanical design of the computation structure which is shown in the picture on the left side here this computational st structure is a crank and four bar linkage mechanism with total of 10 joints and one motor called a generator on the linkage l1 l2 and l3 we put three safe memory alloy based actuators we call it regulators. These are the three uh, regulators. Uh, these are shown here in greenish yellow color uh, in this picture. These actuators changes the overall, overall length of these three linkages of the lengths L1, L2 and L3, hence affecting the gate and making the gates of both wing asymmetric and finally achieving orientation control. So now the next question is what would be the control and dynamics for these regulators like stroke, stroke length such that effectively um, achieving the desired orientation. In this slide, I want to explain aerobat flight dynamics, which can be represented by the evolved nonlinear system of equations. Here X is the vector, a state vector, which consists of under actuated coordinates and actuated coordinates and their derivatives. Under actuated coordinates are the position and orientation of the aerobat, while actuated coordinates are body shape angles and relative motions between the wing segments. Fx and Gx um, are derived from Lagrangian equations, which encompasses inertial Coriolis and gravity effects. U is a joint axon consisting of generator axon and regulator axon. The matrices G1X and G2X map the joint axons U and Y2 to the generalized coordinates. Y is equal to HX, which is a holonomic constraint to, in, to enforce wing morphing with gate implementation. Taking a look at the other two equations, um, which shows the aerodynamics of aerobat, here Y2 denotes the aerodynamic forces the terms A, B, C, and D are the matrices that are derived from the Wagner indicial model and Prandtl lifting line theory. The diagram shows the center of masses of the system along with blade elements, aerodynamic forces, um, and horseshoe vertex circulations. More details regarding the formulation 
um, of aerodynamics can be found in the paper by Eric Sehite published in IRAS, which is cited here. So by adjusting the position of the regulators with fast controller can help achieving the manipulation of correlated joint motions y is equal to hx and hence enable force tracking. To perform this tracking, we employed a collocation based controller with the cost function shown in this top here. Here, G refers to the optimization state and G ref is reference state. The state vector G consists of theta p, which is pitch angle, theta r, which is roll angle, and omega, which is angular velocity, and C is the diagonal cost weighting matrix. This cost function J is governed by a system of n nonlinear equation representing the computational structure dynamics given by driven by low power actuators or regulators, which is shown here in the by the middle equation. Here, y11, y12, and so on are the movement from each element of the computational structure. The matrix A11, A12, and so on uh, is determined by the structure configuration. Um, and material properties while the B11 uh, and so on is a matrix is considered through the regulator placements. The omega are the regulators, uh, the regulators input. Now this equation we get by performing temporal uh, temporal discretization of the above computational structure, structure dynamics, which all the capital Ys are uh, the computational structure response at ith discrete time and omega consists of a regulator action at the discrete time. We also consider two n boundary conditions to enforce the continuity of the computational structure while the inequality constraints um, limit the actuation stroke from the low power regulators as shown above. Now we stack the states and the regulator inputs to form our decision parameter. Next, to approximate the nonlinear dynamics, we use polynomial approximation method. So regulators actions were approximated using linear interpolation, which is shown on the top uh, right side on the slide, while we interpolate the computational structure states by using uh, nonlinear cubic interpolation and the result is shown here. This slide shows the results. The modeling and simulation for this dynamic model is performed in MATLAB using fmincon function for optimization purpose. The system is the system of equations was solved numerically employing the fourth order runga kuta method. The simulation were conducted with a time state of, time step of 0 0.0001 seconds, while the con colocation controller is operating with 200 hertz. This is the simulation video and the picture and the picture on the left is the top view trajectory of the aerobat and this video it can be seen that the aerobat flying straight and then making a banking turn and again flying straight the simulation input parameters are such uh, as the generator which is the motor produce flapping gates at a constant rate of 10 hertz the pitch reference was maintained at a constant negative 10 degrees while the roll reference was set to zero degrees for the first one second and then set to 15 degrees for the next three seconds and then back to zero degrees for the roll angle. The tracking performance and states plots can be seen on the next slide. This graph shows the states of our interest. The top left one shows the position of the robot in X, Y and G coordinates in inertial frame. And it also shows the robot is gaining the height uh, of four meter. The other two subplots reports the linear and angular velocities of the robot throughout the simulation flight time. The tracking is shown in the plots on the right, uh, where it can clearly be seen an affecting, uh, affecting tracking of roll angle and a fair tracking of pitch angle. So also, the change in roll angle results the aerobat to yaw, which helps in making banking turn possible. Similarly, I am showing another graph that shows shoulder and elbow joint angles on the left side of the graph for both left and right computational structures. The left one is shown one in blue while right side one is shown in red. It is easy to notice that the respective joint angles on these two sides are different 
which result uh, which result into a chief of different gait of left and right wing. On the right side of the describe, it shows regulator actions uh, like the length of linkage L1, length of linkage L2, and L3. For the period of changing roll angle, for the period of changing roll angle, the regulated lens clearly showing different outputs uh, between left and right wing. We can also observe that the, to roll the body in right side, in body frame, the left side computational structure has higher magnitude of regulated lens uh, chains than the right one. On this slide, I am showing a diagram that distinguishes gait patterns between the period when the robot was banking and after it stopped banking. On the top side of the diagram, it is easy to observe an asymmetric, an asymmetric gate regulation by noticing that the left and right wings are not at the same angles. This asymmetric gate is required to manipulate the aerodynamic forces and hence changing roll angle of the body while flying. At the bottom of the figure, when the banking turn stops and the robot starts moving in a straight line, we can see the gates of this robot on the left wing and the right wing are symmetric. So as conclusion, Aerobat orientation control is possible while after installing three regulators to regulate the flapping gates. This paper also shows the effective application of collocation-based control framework to track the orientation angles. And finally, achieving banking turn maneuver has been possible. As a next step, I want to put some light on our next targets, which will be test different maneuvers and make Aerobat follow different trajectory in the simulation using the same or similar framework while continuing working on physical implementation of regulators on aerobat design and do some more tests thank you everyone for attending this video now i'm ready for your questions i'll be glad to answer them thanks